and this is going to be the biggest match of Kev Roberts' career because his career is on the line. And here comes Raul Schwab, folks, and he's got the elite with him. These are the most darkest, evilest, sadistic people in SW history. They're taking control of this company, and they will batter anyone that gets in their way. And here he comes, folks. Here's Kev Roberts. This is the man who's going to take on Raul Schwab right now. If he wins, he'll go on to the SW Championship. But if he loses, then he leaves SW for good. But these elite are trying to attack Kev, but Kev Roberts overcoming them. Kev making quick work of the elite. And he gets in the ring and oh, Chihuahua just kicks him in the side of the face before the match even begins. Chihuahua just laying in some punishment to Kev. Chihuahua's a thug. He will have no mercy on his victim. He will just destroy them with any means necessary. And now, he wastes no time going for that weapon. Watch out, Kev. He almost took his head off, but Kev ducked. And now Kev has the weapon. Kev is smacking it to Chihuahua. That's it. Oh, this thunderous shot. Ouch. Kev is making a comeback. Come on, Kev. This is your chance. He has to win this vote. His career is on the line. Kev has just unloaded on Chihuahua. And Kev takes him down. Here comes the Iron Man crossface vote. Nobody survived this move. It's beating everyone. And now, Chihuahua. Wait a second. There's Kev on the apron. He doesn't... What's he doing? Kev was about to win. Damn it. But look out. Oh, roundhouse kick. He just knocked Kev out. Oh, he didn't see it coming. No. Here comes the Full Nelson. Chihuahua's put many people over this, folks. The unbreakable Full Nelson. Wait, Kev, Kev broke out. He's going for a drowning shot, but here comes Crusher, damn it. The Elite interfering every time Kev's about to win. But Kev cleared Crusher out of his way. But look, Chihuahua's got that weapon, and... Oh! And here comes the Tequila Drop DDT. Oh! Dropped on his head. No. No, please kick out Kev. Oh, no. Well, Chihuahua just won! And you know what this means, people? This means Kev's career has come to an end. He made the ultimate ultimatum. And he just smashed the referee! Chihuahua's out of control! And, oh, wait a second, what's, what's this? The match is over, thanks to these three cheating, horrible scumbags. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! And the Elite raising their hands in victory. But I didn't call that a victory, folks. That was the most tainted, most disgusting thing I've ever seen in SW history. Kev's career, after half a decade of chasing the SW Championship, has come to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Slam National Wrestling, and as you just saw, the battle roll is coming soon. How exciting is that? But before we get ahead of ourselves, we've got to take a look back at the last episode of SMW. It was Kev Roberts vs. Raul Chihuahua, and Kev's career was on the line. And thanks to a lot of help and cheating from the elite, Raul Chihuahua was able to win, and now Kev is out of SMW. But to make it even worse, Raul Chihuahua attacked and assaulted a referee. How vile was that? And because of his actions, Charles being banned from the Battle Royal by SNW Authority. But folks, it got a lot worse than that. The Elite just destroyed Kev. They absolutely brutalised him. And without the hero in Kev Roberts, who's going to be able to stand up to the Elite now? I mean, imagine if the Elite go into the Battle Royal and they win. They're going to have all the power, and SNW will be at the Elite's mercy. But wait a second. Whose theme tune's this? What? Wait a second. It's PKG. Formerly known as Mr. Insano, we've not seen him in two years in SMW. What a shocking return. And there's the elite in the headquarters watching PKG on their screen. Or not they think. Some of you may or may not remember me. You may remember a pathetic piece of crap called Mr. Insano. Well, things have changed in the last two years. Since I was last in SMW, I've been training and working my ass off to become a better wrestler. And safe to say, the results you will see. But this is the Battle Royal, and I entered it in 2009. I came up short that year. But this year, as I make my return to backyard wrestling as PKG, Peter King Geffings. 
as I make my return to Backyard Wrestling, I promise you, I promise you, I will be winning this Battle Royal. And I don't care who's in it. I don't care if that bloody Crusher's in it. I don't care if that fucking Jesus wannabe is in it, K-Bar. I don't even care. I will be having my hand raised at the end of the match. You can bet your bottom dollar on it. I'm living in that 21st century, doing something mean to it. Who does this guy think he is? He just comes back out of blue and says he's going to win the Battle Royal. And did you hear what he said about me? I'm not going to let this guy just come along and run his mouth. Tonight, I'm going to challenge PKG to a match. I'm going to beat his ass so bad, he won't even make it to the Battle Royal. You're going to rip him in two. Yeah. You're going to tear him a new certain part of his body. Oh, exactly. Where the sun don't yeah. shine, man. <laughs> yeah, PKG, your days are numbered, man. Well, you heard it, folks. K-Bar just sent out the challenge to PKG. So tonight's main event will be PKG versus K-Bar from the Elite. And it's obvious that the Elite want to eliminate any competition before the Battle Royal. That's how sly they are. But PKG's not going to go down without a fight. Each episode, for the past few months, we've seen these disturbing messages play. But now, we finally know his face. And his name is Blake Fury, and it looks like he's coming to SNW. But folks, it is main event time. PKG versus K-Bar. And goodness me, K-Bar said he doesn't want to only defeat PKG now, he wants to injure him. Because the Elite do not want any competition. They want to beat PKG up so bad as to make it to the battle roll. But here comes PKG, and he's not going to go down without a fight. We've seen him before. It's been two years since he's been in SMW. And you heard what he said, he's been training his arse off to be a better wrestler. And we know this guy's a brawler, he's a powerhouse, and he looks fired up. PKG's got to be careful though, because K-Bar is a sly, evil, Canadian little git. And look at that grimace on his face. He is confident because this guy's violent. And we know that he said he's going to hurt PKG so bad. And there's his mates, the Elite, watching from their headquarters. And you've got to believe they're rooting for K-Bar, obviously. And there's K-Bar with some trash talk. Trying to knock PKG off his game before they go into battle. And here we go, folks. Here we go. There's the lockup. Oh, and PKG overpowers K-Bar. Have some of that. PKG is on fire. He's just telling K-Bar to bring it. K-Bar going for another lockup. Oh, look at that. K-Bar teasing the lockup. And he's just snuck in some nasty hours and some strikes. How sly was that? Oh, but PKG just flings K-Bar off of him. He ain't having none of that. And oh, look at that clothesline. Got right in the throat. How solid. And K-Bar getting taken out with his clothesline. PKG's on fire. And look, here comes a suplex. He hooks the leg. Oh, fisherman suplex variation. PKG just unloading on K-Bar. Oh no, he spits it at his bandana. That's what he thinks of K-Bar. And now, he's just chopping K-Bar. That's got to stop your heart with these violent chops. And now it's like he's taking a run up. Incoming! Oh, but K-Bar dodged out of the way and... Oh, look at that! A roundhouse kick right to the jaw. And there's a knee strike right to the gut. Oh, and K-Bar follows up with a bulldog. Oh my goodness. PKG missed one corner attack and it cost him. And here's the one. Here's the two. And PKG kicks out. That one little mishap in the corner cost PKG the momentum of the match. And now K-Bar is taking control as he lays into PKG. And now he's laying in some violent knees with that clinch. Just giving PKG no chance to breathe. And now, oh, a neck breaker. Taking PKG down. And he pins him for the one. For the two. And PKG kicks out. And there's the Elite watching on. Rooting for K-Bar to beat PKG. And now K-Bar's setting him. Oh, there's some kicks to the back. And look at this. Unorthodox attacks, but you never know quite what to expect from K-Bar. That's how sly and cunning he is. And now he hooks PKG for the one, for the two. Oh, but PKG kicks out. And K-Bar has given PKG such a beating. But PKG is so resilient, he keeps kicking out. But K-Bar going back to those strikes. He's just beating PKG in the corner with some knees and a headbutt. And now looking for a charge up. But wait a second, PKG with a massive spear. He just takes K-Bar right down and out in the middle of the ring. And both men are down. 
PKG has taken such a beating. That could have been an act of desperation. And both men are down. The referee's counting. Who's going to get up first? Oh, Keybar with a swipe. Now Keybar reeling back those punches. Oh, but PKG fights back. And it looks like both men are just standing and slugging it out. Oh, my goodness. Look at these shots. PKG getting the upper hand, quite literally. And he's just laying into Keybar. But Keybar just punched PKG. And here comes a big swipe. But PKG ducks. Oh, German suplex for a bridge. One, two. Oh, Keybar gets the rope break. Goodness me, what a great comeback from PKG, but he has to stay on top, PKG has to keep the momentum going if he's to turn the tables and win this thing, and he's screaming, he's digging down deep, PKG is getting himself fired up, and we might remember this one, he says, oh, PKG calling for brain damage, that's his finisher move, here we go folks, oh, Kevar slides out and, oh, an Enziguri, the flying Enziguri kick right to the head of PKG, this could all be over, PKG could be knocked out, and here's the pin, one, two, oh, but PKG taking a page out of Kevar's book and getting a rope break, wait a second, one, two, oh, but PKG just powering out, PKG digging down deep to kick out despite Kevar's best efforts, and K-Bar sticking in a boot to PKG's back to keep him down. And now, oh, it looks like K-Bar is going to the top rope. What's he going to do from here, folks? What's he going to do to PKG? Here he well, PKG catches him. Oh, brain damage. And he just drops K-Bar right on his head. Oh, if PKG can pin K-Bar, it's going to be all over now, folks. Wait, who, who's this? What is this? <gasps> it's Alex Hart. What is Alex Hart doing at SNW? Oh, my God. Maybe he's a battle royal entrant. Maybe that's what he's doing. But folks, he just interrupted this great match. And look, PKG hasn't suspected a thing. And he's stalking PKG. Oh, oh there's the gore! Alex Hart with the gore. Goodness me. And here comes Pablo Polo. I don't think Pablo Polo likes this newcomer coming in and ruining things. And here's the standoff between Polo and Alex. And Alex goes to swipe, but Polo ducks. And now they're just battering each other. They're exchanging punches. And wait a second, here's El Torreno. What's El Torreno doing at SMW? This is amazing. There's been two debuts so far. And this is just crazy. Everyone's coming to the ring. Oh, Polo just drops El Torreno right in their face. And Alex Hart getting out of dodge. Alex Hart. Oh, wait, Polo signaling for the Polo Express. He's going to go and deliver it. Oh, wait a second, here comes Nightmare. Polo stops dead in his tracks when he sees the big beast come. And here comes Nightmare. And Polo is in danger. Polo ducks a swipe. Nightmare going for another one, but Polo's too quick. Oh, but not that catches Polo. Oh my second! It's Blake's Fury! For months, we've seen messages warning us of Blake's Fury. And now he's finally here. And he's going face to face with Nightmare. And look how big Blake Fury is. Oh my god, the size of this guy. Oh my second. Nightmare's grabbing Polo by the throat. And here comes a big trick slam. Oh! And it looks like Nightmare has sent a message to Blake Fury, saying this is what I can do. Wait a second, Blake Fury going straight for El Torreno. He's got him by the throat. Wait, is he going to give him a trick slam as well? And look, oh, oh, a big trick slam on El Torreno. And it looks like Blake Fury has just said to Nightmare, anything you can do, I can do better. And look at these big beasts looking each other right in the eyes, going head to head. And what a stare down this is, folks. And of all these people in the battle royal, this is going to be the biggest match in SNW history. Oh my goodness. You got your work cut out with that lot. Yeah, you see, it's a shame you're not in the battle royal. But me and Kavar, we've always got a trick up our sleeve. It seems like the Elite have a plan for the battle royal after all. I wonder what that could be. So, the Elite have a plan for the Battle Royale. Not to mention, PKG has returned to win the Battle Royale. And we've seen the debut of Alex Hart, Blake Fury and El Torreno. Not to mention Polo and Nightmare in the mix. This Battle Royale is shaping up to be one of the biggest matches in SNW history. But who's going to win? Only time will tell. And we'll find out at the 2011 Battle Royale.